Hey, peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Happy Saturn's Day. Welcome, welcome, welcome to anybody that may be new. My name is Q. I, too, am a Scorpio, and I am here to pick up on the energy, see what's coming and going out, going on with my beloved Scorpios. If you are new, welcome. My name is Q. I, too, am a Scorpio. I am clairaudient. I channel messages intuitively, and I do pick up on clairvoyant messages, so I include music into my readings and they tend to blend very beautifully with the tarot card messages this reading is going to be a general reading so my spiel is eat the fish spit out the bones if it doesn't apply just let it fly by know that you're more than just your sun sign so check your moon check your rising check your venus check your mercury your mars just check your other placements for a more clear and concise message for you for anyone that may be viewing this video, my v videos are timeless. So whenever you find yourselves clicking on the video, whenever the video pops up in your feed, that was the divine timing that was intended for you all to do so. So welcome, as I said, to anybody that may be new. Um, the music that's playing right now is we have D'Angelo, and this is called Me and Those Dreamy Eyes of Mine. And this is... Uh, Jay Dilla's remix, Rising Power King. Um, so there is somebody that could be like in awe. There's somebody that is uh, kind of like just watching you from a distance, from afar, like a secret admirer. Um, this person may be dreaming of you. They could be having some sort of daydream, like just kind of like visualizing themselves and you and this connection. And it's really just kind of making them um, feel this this sense of urgency to reach out to you. Maybe someone is having dreams of you. Maybe somebody could literally be waking up just from a dream, you know, waking up in cold sweats, <laughs> dreaming of you. Um, or maybe somebody's just waking up and realizing they dreamt of you. And it's just... It's really making them aware uh, as to how powerful uh, this connection is. Um, this obviously is someone that you have history with, someone you're familiar with, someone you know. Um, there is uh, distance, there's no communication, um, and this person is, you know, having to resort to having these these visualizations and these. Uh, dreams, these daydreams, these thoughts, uh, because of the lack of communication. However, I do feel like this person is feeling this sense of urgency to reach out, to communicate. Give me one moment, because my little Katara is being uh, a little pest right now. Give me one moment. All right, my bad. So right now we have um, Jay-Z, and this is called Caught Their Eyes. Uh, and this is from the 444 album. So maybe there's something in the eyes. Um, maybe if you are familiar with this person, maybe this person cannot hide anything from you because Scorpios have a very intense um, stare. A lot of people find that they cannot look a Scorpio in the eyes because they say that we have this, this very uh, intense, um, also it could be kind of like intimidating stare. Uh, because we look into the souls of those that we deal with. Um, that's why you can't really hide anything from us because we're, we're looking for the shifty, the shaky. We're looking for the eyes to go up to the left, which is giving us the inclination that you're lying. We're looking for that, that uneasiness. Um, you know, so we're, we're reading more than, than just um, into what you're saying. Uh, we're we're reading body language. We're reading your your energy. So there is something in someone's eyes that they cannot hide um, something because they know that you could see through them. You can see beyond whatever the illusion is uh, that they may be trying to uh, paint. Um, so this is someone that is fully aware that I'm hearing the word oracle very loudly in my mind's eye. So somebody feels you're like an oracle, a psychic, um, that you see through them. And so with caught their eyes, you may have caught someone being a little shifty. Uh, you may have caught someone being a little um, 
dishonest. And there's no such thing as a little dishonest, just straight up dishonest. Uh, you may have caught somebody in a blatant lie. Uh, but we're going to check in. We're going to tap in, tune in. This is just what I'm picking up intuitively. You know how I do. So let's go ahead and do some house cleaning. I call upon the beautiful elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is, so would it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So right now we have, um, this is called motivation and this is by Fabulous. Uh, so someone finds you to be very motivated. Like you have been motivating someone to be their better version of themselves because maybe someone has witnessed your transformation. And so this is like, you're, you're someone's motivation. Um, maybe someone feels they have something to prove to you because maybe in the past um, they could have been dishonest. They may not have been their authentic selves. And maybe that's the reason why there's distance because you could have uh, created boundaries, space. Um, you could have just kind of disconnected, disengaged uh, because Scorpios are in their bag right now. They know their worth and value. So they have set their standards higher. Uh, and have also created boundaries. They've created a safe space. They've created like a safe haven for themselves. So they're very mindful and particular as to who they allow in those um, parameters, if you will. Um, but I do sense that somebody has been doing their homework. You know, they've been doing some some inner work. They've been doing some soul searching. They've been kind of doing some deep dives uh, to see that you know they're imperfect and maybe they could have um they could have dealt with the connection maybe in a different way maybe they just took the connection for granted at the time and when you kind of created that boundary it it, it woke somebody up and it let them know uh that you meant business when it came to your boundaries your your self-respect your self-love um when you, you know, uh, inform them of what you were and weren't uh, willing to participate in, which you wasn't going to put up with. Um, I feel like you made a believe out of this person because you let your words match your actions or your actions match your words uh, when you created that boundary. So let's go ahead. So uh, we're going to start off with the numerology on the bottom of the deck. We have love partnership. So I was picking up on a connection. Uh, this could have been someone with a 26. Uh, that 26 is the um, star card in traditional tarot. Uh, so, you know, um, that's because it's 17. So always liken this number eight to uh, the star. The star is all about the healing, um, that inner healing, that inner work. Um, it's really about, you know, transmuting pain, turning it into power, realizing that you're the alchemist, that you are the conduit of change, that you have the ability to uh, you know, turn your thoughts into reality. So you were more mindful to uh, perhaps set your intentions on the things that you truly desired, opposed to focusing on the problems, focusing on, you know, the nonsense. So I feel like there was a, an aha moment. Um, there was some sort of aha uh, circumstance that just kind of uh, brought you back into emotional equilibrium. Um, I do sense that, you know, someone is also seeing you, like I said, as, as um, you know, wish fulfillment. Maybe you're motivating some sort of change in someone or you've been their motivation because this is by fabulous. Um, someone sees you're living a fabulous life, a glamorous life. I'm hearing that song by, um, I forgot who it was. I think he was a, a artist from D.C. And it was like, ooh, ooh, you got it, the glamorous life. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> so that that's an old 90s hip hop song. You had to be there. So um, and a matter of fact, it, it, I think it was like in the early 90s. So that wasn't even like 94, 5. That was like, you know, that was like 91, 2, 3. 
because uh, I remember being in high school when that came out. Um, so I feel like somebody sees you living like that glamorous life and somebody feels motivated. Um, but I also am picking up, you know, there was this was a karmic connection. You know, maybe someone received karma uh, because of the way that they may have uh, treated this connection, this relationship. Um, there obviously, uh, you know, was a very uh, profound connection because we see love partnership, but maybe someone didn't realize the depth of the connectionship, the connectionship, the connection. Um, maybe that's a new word. I got a, I, <laughs> I just coined a new word, connectionship. <laughs> But, um, yeah, maybe somebody didn't realize the depth of this connection. And, um, you know, maybe now they're getting the memo a little too late, you know, that, uh, you know, and it's never too late, you know, but, you know, they're getting it after the fact uh, that, you know, perhaps they have a, a love for you. So let's go ahead on the split. We got follow your dreams. Didn't I say this person saw you as wish fulfillment? And then we got follow your dreams. So this person is following you. I feel like they're following your story. They're following your journey. Um, this person is very much uh, keeping tabs to, uh, you know, keeping tabs with you online, keeping tabs on your life, on your progress, on your successes, um, on your growth, you know, on your transformation, or just on your journey. Um, and, and with this pink in the middle of this card, I feel like, you know, that is the epiphany somebody's having um, is that they feel motivated by you. They feel encouraged by you. Um, this is somebody that feels inspired and in awe um, because they've seen you. I'm hearing you've done like a 180. Uh, you're completely a different person um, and you've changed for the better. So you're like uh, very strong. This person sees you as strong. Maybe they always saw you as somebody that was very passive, um, somebody that they could do very easily manipulated. Um, and, and they're seeing a different version of you because now they see you in your strengths. You know, this blue and this orange on the inside, that orange deals with like that Aphrodite energy. Uh, that's the color of the sacral chakra. So someone's really seeing because we got the two here. So that's the second chakra. And then that six is that first eye chakra. So together, that's the eight. So this person does see that um, you're very psychic, like I said in the beginning, you know, like that oracle. Um, they feel seen by you because remember we had caught their eyes. So you could have caught someone doing something real janky and you called them out on it. Um, but they also see you as very empowering, very strong, very liberated. Um, you're moving to the beat of your own drum. You're being rebellious. You're going against the grain. You're doing things on your terms in the way that you see best for yourself. Um, so you're following your own, you're creating like your own blueprint. You're, you're not doing what everybody else is doing. And that's really what's most intriguing. That's really what's most um, attractive to this person. Uh, because this also deals with that creativity energy. You know, the Aphrodite is the, the great feminine energy. So that feminine energy, as well as the divine masculine energy, are both very, um, your, you know, your... <clears throat> your divinity, excuse me, is creation. So maybe you are very talented. Um, there's some sort of talented skills, gifts, talent, uh, you know, um, abilities that you may be honing at this time. Uh, and maybe you've discovered your, your soul's purpose, mission, your life's path. And, and, and that in and of itself is very attractive. Like I said, you are motivating this person to now follow their dreams, to now live their truth. Um, with this 85, you know, that's 13. So that's four. So this person does feel like you bring stability into their life or they could have stability. They could grow with you. They could build with you. They feel like this connection is really uh, divinely um, ordained. Like they feel there's a more profound connection because I feel this person was dreaming of you because remember we had D'Angelo, me and those dreamy eyes of mine. So this person really, really, you know, when they close their eyes, they dream of you. Um, even when their eyes are open, they're daydreaming of you. It's just like you're the first thought and the last thought in this person's mind. And it's because they have love for you. So right now we have um, Amel LaRoe and this is called Earn My Affections. So this person knows that this time around, they're gonna have to earn your affections because maybe in the past, like I said, they, they mishandled you. Um, they really didn't appreciate or respect 
um, the connection, uh, maybe because somebody had options, maybe because someone just, just didn't take the connection seriously, uh, because maybe they were not open to love. Maybe they was really, you know, more so focused on playing the field, being single, living the bachelor life, living that bachelorette life, afraid of commitment, a commitment foe. And um, you had to chuck up the deuces and bounce on that ass and say, pardon my back. And so now somebody's realizing in your absence just how much they miss you, just how, uh, you know, how powerful or strong this connection is, they feel. And it's something that they cannot shake because, as the song said, me and those dreamy eyes of mine and follow your dreams. So this person resorts to kind of watching you online. Um, they're keeping up with your story. It's almost as if even though you're not in communication with this person, I strongly feel like they're very up to date with the goings on in your life, if you will. So they definitely stay abreast to everything you have going on. Um, if you have, uh, you know, high activity online, trust and believe they are absolutely front and center watching. Um, observing because as I said with that fabulous song motivation you are motivating them you're motivating them to change because I feel like this person has witnessed you change you've made some sort of 180 you know change so right now we have Robert Glasper and this is called um, let it let it ride so let it ride so this person just wants to you know let the bygones be bygones is what I'm hearing in my mind's eye you know, let the past be the past. Just let's let's move forward. You know, let's move forward. Let's see what we can what we can cultivate from this uh, vantage point opposed to, you know, dwelling on what took place in the past. Of course, they want to come back and they may want to extend an olive branch and apologize for perhaps mis um, misreading and 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 misperceiving this connection and you. But they're also desiring to move forward uh, because this is someone almost like you know th th that dog that comes back with their tail between their legs is just like you know they feel shameful so that's an I'm, I'm just like getting so many messages I'm sorry so let's go ahead we're gonna cut the deck see what's coming in going out going on so we have physical activity so this is someone that's gonna be very proactive I just saw 17 17 that's 8 8 that's 16 that's 7 so this is somebody absolutely who's having some sort of download from divine from spirit telling them now is the time you know it's now or never uh because that seven deals with the chariot so that seven is letting me know that this person's ready to take action they're ready to move forward um this is someone who sees themselves uh being able to uh take initiative um to take the reins maybe in the past there was a little more passive um, maybe they were a little more, um, you know, maybe they were intimidated or maybe they was just not willing to take action. Maybe, you know, but now this person is, is definitely going to be very um, active, proactive in not just sh uh, saying what they're going to do, but they're going to show you with their actions. So their actions are going to match uh, their words, you know, in a lot of ways. And so I feel like this person is, you know, trying to overcome whatever the obstacles were that the two of you had gone through. I feel this person's coming in very determined and they're going to display willpower um, with the 67 that reduces to 13. 13 is the death card. So this person does want to move things along. You know, that 13 also reduces to four. So they want to come out of you know, this death, they want to resurrect this connection. Um, and they're willing to do whatever it takes because this purple is them trying to send you those little psychic messages, those little telepathic messages. Um, you could be very sensitive right now, picking up on that. And that's because this person is trying to like, just kind of see their way clear, trying to make sure they send out that transmission that way when they come through or when they come in you won't be super ex you know surprised uh because they don't want to make a fool of themselves because they feel already um a lot of shame for the way i feel things have ended in the past and with the e we got effort on the bottom of the deck so this person realizes in the past they didn't make enough effort and maybe they was a uh, you know ahead of themselves they took themselves too seriously i feel maybe like i said they got you know kind of like sidetracked because they had options and sometimes people assume you know having a lot of options 
uh, means that, you know, you, you you're in a better position than you are. Uh, a lot of those options could be bad options. And I feel like that's what this person's realizing is like a lot of the options that they were so gung ho about and excited about. They realized that those were like duds. You know, those were not really, you know what I'm saying? It was just like a lot of pump fake and it wasn't really uh, going anywhere. And at the end of the day, it was just like lackluster. But now, you know, there's this epiphany. Uh, this person is seeing you in all of your your glory because there's blue here. So I do feel like with the throat chakra, uh, that's the color of the throat chakra. I do feel like this person watches you uh, express yourself in some artistic or creative manner. And I feel like this is why there's this 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 desire, this urgency to come towards you to uh, try to heal this connection, to resurrect uh, something that may have ended um, just suddenly, you know, just like a sudden upheaval. Um, and so I feel like this person is making their way toward you, especially when I saw that eight card. That is the, um, I mean, the seven, you know, because it was uh, 17, 17 on the clock. And so, um, you know, that's the chariot. So now this person's ready to bust a dope move because, you know, maybe they was playing hard to get. Maybe they was acting uninterested. Maybe there was self-sabotage, self-deception, uh, whatever it is. Now this person realizes like they really didn't make enough effort to show you um, what it is they truly feel. Um, and they really want to come around this time around 21, 21, three, three, that's six. And they want to show you the six is the lovers in traditional tarot. And the six is also the first eye. So this person does want to um, let you know how they truly feel. We did see love partnership. So that is someone wanting to come in, someone realizing uh, that there is like a spiritual union. Um, and as I said, they could be sending you, you know, some telepathic messages uh, before they come in because they don't want to. Um, they don't, it's like they don't want to surprise you. It's like they kind of want you to be prepared for them uh, because they're not really sure, you know, how you're going to uh, receive them or how you're going to respond. So it's like they, they do communicate with you telepathically a lot. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of effort shown in terms of how this person may feel about you. We have Pharaoh Saunders and um, this is called uh, Shakuru. So with Pharaoh, Pharaohs are like princes, you know, in ancient Kemet, uh, the Pharaohs, they're like, you know, deities, gods. So this person could be, you know, praying to their ancestors. I also feel they do, um, you know, they have been, you know, receiving a lot of divine interventions. You know, maybe they're getting a lot of messages, uh, maybe even via their dreams uh, that they're having is, is just kind of everything is kind of like pointing them to go towards you, pointing them to take action, to, uh, you know, just display that courage, you know, to go after what they want. So this is why with the 13. So we got 13, 13 here. I didn't even realize that. So, you know, this is the death and that's the rebirth. You know, Scorpios are all about transformation. Um, it's all about shifts, uh, changes. It's, it's really about uh, startling metamorphosis, you know, evolving, ascension, um, and, and, and the death of the old, you know, uh, the death of the old version of you. And, you know, the rise, the, the, res the resurgence of something new. So this is beautiful. So let's see. So let's see who's coming in for our beloved Scorpios. So we got six, six. So we got somebody who has been healing, just as I said. And that six, six, that double number, you know, I always liken that to uh, two people who are mirroring one another. So the person that you are attracting is absolutely focused on their healing. We had Fabulous speaking to how you are motivating someone. Because that song motivation. So you've motivated someone to do their work because they've watched you transcend. They've watched you, you know, really be active. You've been very proactive in your own healing. So we got 67. And this is not just somebody sitting on their ass, you know, waiting for something to plop in their lap. This is like really putting the boots to the ground, really working, you know, really working and sorting through the pain, you know, figuring out why journaling, healing, sound therapy, therapy. Uh, this is really, you know, surrendering to source, 
um, devoting time in front of your altars, connecting with your ancestors. This is really devoting that one-on-one -on -one time with the self to heal, to purge, to release, to let go of what no longer serves you so that you can have that transformation. You know, this 67, like I said, reduces the 13. So that transformation is the overall energy of this reading. And you've been very active in ensuring uh, that this transformation took place. And now someone is taking, you know, taking a page out of your book, so to speak, uh, because now they're focused on their healing. So this person does mirror you, as I said, with the Pharaoh Saunders, Shakuru. Um, that really is telling me that this person um, does see you as someone who is also like a healer. Um, you could be, you know, they could see you as someone who's who's like a, a, a shaman, a, a light worker, um, a sage, you know, someone someone that they feel they could trust, someone they feel, um, like I said, that they they've seen. Uh, your growth, your evolution. They're familiar with your story. I can't make this up. Look what's on the bottom of the deck. Seven. So they've seen your growth. They've seen how you have transformed. This person's healing from heartbreak. The six, six breaks down to 12, which is three. So that three reminds me of the three of swords. So they're healing from some sort of, uh, some sort of painful ending, loss, deception, betrayal. Um, maybe they found out about a third party. Uh, maybe there was somebody else in the picture. Uh, maybe they were trying to take something to the next step, working together with someone, uh, you know, trying to build an alliance or trying to uh, collaborate with someone to find that someone else uh, that they were collaborating with was, you know, involved in a third party uh, scenario. And so this could have caused heartbreak uh, with this five. You know, I do feel like this person is trying to find their voice. Um, they're trying to find uh, a way to express that pain or to to alleviate that pain uh, because the, the the throat chakra um, really is about formulating. You know, you have to give words to the pain. You got to give it a sound, give it a voice. Uh, I remember when I used to watch a Yanla, um, a lot of times people, when they were frustrated, they would try to hold in the frustration, even people, you know, outside of the Ayanla show, when someone's angry, they'd be like, you know what, I'm, I'm not going to say nothing. And it's like, no, you know, even if you don't, you're not, not necessarily having to scream, have a screaming match with someone, but sometimes you have to give that pain a voice. It's good to scream it out. Uh, sometimes, you know, if I'm frustrated, I'll go get a pillow, you know, and I will just let it out. You know what I'm saying? Because that energy um, just trapped in your body, it, it can it can turn into other things, you know, it could block certain chakras and, and you could find yourselves um, suppressing things that ought, ought not, you know, that shouldn't, I should say, be suppressed. So I feel somebody's finding their voice, finally finding their voice, finally um, trying to uh, communicate what they're feeling opposed to trying to hide it and, and, and um, ignore it and suppress it. Um, so we have um, we have Rico Love and this is called They Don't Know. So this person feels like, you know, people don't know the pain that they've experienced. Um, and I feel like people don't know because this person does not communicate. Um, they don't communicate the pain, maybe even if it's um, the pain they feel uh, in separation from you or not communicating with you. They feel like you don't know, you know, the pain. Um, that they've experienced or maybe the person that's caused them pain, they don't feel that they know the depths or the magnitude of the pain they feel. But with personal growth, you know, as I said, someone has watched, you know, you go through your own startling metamorphosis and that's what's given someone the hope. Um, you know, that's really what's given them, you know, putting the battery in their back to uh, do their own work, you know, because this personal growth shows not just your resilience and perseverance in overcoming, you know, difficulties and, and, and turbulent relationships, toxic relationships and friendships and love ships and family dynamics. But it also shows how you've also learned to trust your intuition. 
Um, you've learned to, you know, stand in your strength, in your power, to be assertive, to go after what it is you wanted, um, to also be, you know, strong, to follow, um, you know, follow your own lead. Uh, but this is about determination, like I said, and willpower, because that's the, sh the chariot. But this, this all purple deals with the first side, I mean, the crown chakra. So this is really, you know, like people don't know what you know. Um, they don't know how high in spirit, spiritual rank you are. Um, as I've said before, like you, you have been an initiate of the practice. So it's almost as if the things you've learned um, in your own experiences, they have made you uh, great teachers, great healers, great leaders uh, to help others navigate their own uh, turbulent circumstances. And I feel like that's why uh, this person is, is, is feeling even more motivated to do their, their healing, uh, to do their work, to confront whatever, uh, whatever, you know, circumstances that they could have been hiding and running from all this time. Um, they're willing, more willing now to turn around and confront that shadow, you know, that shadow side opposed to trying to run from it because you can never outrun your shadow. So this person has seen your growth and it's inspiring. Um, this person feels like you don't even know how much um, you you really uh, have inspired this person or you don't know how much this person really loves you. Uh, but they do feel uh, that you, 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 you're picking up on them energetically, you know, um, and I just saw 1111, um, not 1111, I just saw 44, so let me see, so let's see, and 44 is an angelic number, so let me see, let's see what we got going on, because I saw 3113, so let's see, um, oh, so 44, that's 8 again, so divine spirit, how does this person that I beloved Scorpio is attracting feels about our beloved Scorpios. Let's see. This person is very hush. You know, this is somebody very hush. They feel like I said, like you got a lot of self-love, confidence, self-respect. This is like, you know, your worth, you know, your value, you know, and you could have walked away um, because of that fact. That's 61 again, that's seven. So you're more assertive now, you know, you're, you're exhibiting, you know, a sense of ambition, strength, determination. You're more assertive. You're going after what you want. You took the reins, you know, of your life and you're moving forward. They see you as someone balanced, but they also see you as someone who's highly intuitive, you know, very psychic. That 61 breaks down to the seven. That's the crown chakra. There's all blue in each of these symbols. This is the depth, you know, of, of how and what they're feeling. That's how much they feel the desire to communicate because that blue deals with the throat chakra. And so there is a strong desire to communicate, to express, to say how they feel. And with adventure, I feel like something is going to change. This person is going to step outside of their comfort zone something that they're not used to doing, which is taking that initial step, you know, being that, uh, that assertive person and going after what they want. Maybe there's a little intimidation here because as I said, they've watched your journey. They're, they've been tuning in, tapping in, and they've seen your, your transformation. So there is a sense that this person could be working on themselves before they come towards you because they want to make sure that they're coming at you on the right wavelength because they know now you you know your worth you're not settling for less you're not settling and we have j cole this is called um saint tropez and this is from the 2014 forest hill drives album so I do feel like with the forest, I feel like this person, you know, couldn't see the forest from the trees in the past. I feel like they were distracted. They had a lot of distractions around them. But I feel like now they're willing to change that. They're changing their mindset more because, as I said, as they've watched your tra your transformation and your evolution, 
it has been very inspiring, very motivating for them. And so now this person who was not as adventurous and spontaneous, you know, this was somebody who could have been more like a, a, a hermit, you know, just kind of like in their own comfort zone, as I said, not really the type to take initiative, not really the type to step out and, and, and you know, take that first step, you know, but now they're going to be more daring and risky because there's this, this sense of adventure that they're seeking now. You know, and with this green in the center of this card, I feel like they're going to be willing, like we saw, to make the effort now. Because before, they just sat on the opportunity because they didn't realize that it was a golden one until the separation, until this, this, this departure from you. And now what's making them even more attractive is the fact that you are exhibiting you know, all of this self-love, confidence, you're ambitious, you're creative, you're a superstar in this person's eyes. And in the past, it was like they couldn't see the forest from the trees, maybe because they had a lot of options and they got sidetracked by the illusion of having options. The traditional tarot card, the seven of cups, it's like it's depicted with this puff of this cloud of smoke around all of these chalices, but in each chalice contains a different, you know, um, object, you know, or symbol, you know, and every single one of those symbols were not good options. So it's really about trusting your intuition with this 61. They know that you're highly intuitive. And they also know that you're psychic and an oracle and a seer and you could see past the bull ish and the, the illusions. And so that's why they're making this change. Like I've got to change. I have to change the way that I'm perceiving this connection and the way that I perceive relationships, love. This is something that is deep seated. That's why they're doing their healing work because they had been broken hearted in the past and they may not have ever addressed it which is why they were showing up as a wounded person in the relationships, in the connections and turning away really solid connections because they couldn't see the magnitude because they was treating each connection like it was the same connection. But after dealing with those options, they realized that it, it, it just the love hits different than what it did when they were with you. The connection in and of itself wasn't based off of just sex and all of these other uh, superficialities. I feel with you and this person, the connection is more of a, a, a cerebral, um, psychic, energetic, synergetic uh, chemistry. And you can't shake that. So now this person with the 55 What's hidden in the energy is there's some sort of adventure, change, a risk that's going to be taken. It's like the divine is telling you, like, be more open and receptive, you know, be more spontaneous. Something beautiful is coming. And we got Miguel, and this is called Banana Clip. So, yeah, you know, with, with, with that, I just feel like this person is going to, you know, really come through you and it's going to. He, they, I feel they're going crazy. I'm hearing they're going bananas. You know, this person could really be going bananas, um, not communicating with you. And that's why they're going to make this change. You know, they're tired of the same old, same old. You know, this is that okie doke. And we have this, you know, 55, that's 10. So that reduces to one. So they're ready to make a change and take that first step, take initiative, you know, follow their passion. And it's 1111, so this is absolutely like a twin flame connection. I just want to show you, you know, I like to show and prove. So this is a divine connection, as we saw when we first took, touched the numerology deck. It said love partnership. So you can't make that up. Somebody's changing. Somebody's working on themselves. You got to heal that self in order to love that self. And when you love yourself, then you know your worth. You know that self. You know your value. You know what you bring to the table. So you're not settling anymore. And I feel like this person also had to go through the same lessons you've had to learn. We already know Scorpios have been like, you've been going through your transformation, your dark night of the soul journey for a few years now. And as I said, when you got these double numbers, that just means that, you know, you're triggering that person. 
And I feel like they're really going to take some sort of initiative to reach out and communicate. So what's hidden in the energy for our beloved Scorpios? May I have a message of love and light? What's hidden in the energy? All right. And we got 12, 12. That's 336 three, again. Can't make this up. This person is really communicating with you telepathically. And they really, really um, see you as like that, that divine feminine, like that divine feminine, that divine masculine, that twin flame. We got healthier 71. So what's hidden in the energy is someone's working on their mental health, you know, because I see this purple in the middle of in that symbol. And then I see orange. So I do feel like somebody is like they kind of like analysis paralysis, thinking too much, but not taking enough action or initiative. You know, not communicating, not getting out of their head. This is almost like giving me like eight of swords type of energy, you know, because that eight really is just, you know, that could be just a lot of angst, a lot of overthinking, you know, but not communicating. You know, like I was saying earlier, when you constantly suppressing things, um, it, it, it can block your chakras. It could block certain things. It could cause, you know, a lot of um it, a lot of uh, lack of of trust, of confidence. Um, that's also ego based, you know, when you're just constantly ruminating and you're not saying what you feel or communicating how you feel or expressing your truth to the person. Um, that's also like a, a, that's a form of, of self-deception in and of itself, because it's like you have all these things you want to unload. But because your ego is saying, nah, I'm not going to make that first step. I'm not going to reach out. I'm not going to do that. That's ego. But your heart is saying something different. You know, your spirit is, is longing for something different. So someone is kind of up in their head. And it's over you because this orange is dealing with that, that Aphrodite energy. That's the, you know, that's that uh, sacral chakra. And so that's that, that's that, you know, that, that, that fertile energy. You know, when we got X Factor here playing by Lauren Hill. So this could be an X, you know, or maybe there's an X that is a, a, a factor in this scenario. That's what's hidden is, is this person is dealing with, you know, some sort of trauma based off of, you know, a connection that really uh, fizzled because they found out about some infidelities. With this card on the bottom, leadership, somebody's taking control, you know, they're going to take the reins. Like I said, they're following your blueprint to a, to a degree, taking a page out of, you know, your book. So it's almost as if like they're following the same steps. Because the seven deals with, like I said, the chariot. So that's really about, you know, willpower, being ambitious determined to go after what you want and what they want is a brand new beginning with that one so they want what well, they want a passionate new start and they want to get out of this this confusion this delusionment you know and with leadership they want to take control you know this is like that that wounded warrior somebody who's who's given chance after chance nine is the highest number of change so now they want to make the change and they want to be that leader. They want to be somebody that bosses up, takes the control, takes the reign and goes in the direction that they wish to go in, you know, being more assertive. Let's see what we got. What is in the outcome? OK. Personal growth. So this is a this is a part of, you know, the journey. This is destiny. You know, communication is going to take place. So this was all destined. This was all preordained. There is a lot of communication, I feel, telepathically and intuitively, even via your dreams. This 33 reduces to six. That's the, the uh, first die. And I feel like, you know, your angels and ancestors are awakening someone to this connection. You know, with X factor, maybe that was, you know, somebody who had an X with whom they really we're trying to make things work because of the history they may have had with that person. But they're realizing the X is an X and it should stay that way. Whereas with you, they feel like, you know, they, they could grow. The connection could grow. They could build. The both of you could, you know, 
you could have like a nucleus. It could be a collaborative effort to not only have emotional fulfillment, but I feel also financial fulfillment to build like that family, that nucleus, that happy house, happy spouse, or that happily ever after. But they feel like this, there's, there's like this personal growth that draws them in, that they're attracted to. And with this communication there, financial discipline, nature, and follow your dreams underneath that. So this is really telling me that somebody is gonna communicate to you, but what they're focused on right now is getting their finances in order that way. When and if they do come in, it's like they have something to offer you. This is somebody you could have met at your places of employment. You could have met them, you know, they could have lived on a block when you grew that you grew up on. They could have lived in the community that you lived in. They could have, you know, um, patronized a store that you patronized. Like there's there's some sort of, of history I feel. You know, but I also feel like this connection just is very, it comes off very natural. It, it, it's a organic, you know, it's very organic the way in which the two of you bonded, connected. Um, and there's purple in the middle here also, you know, so maybe the two of you met in an, uh, an outside setting, maybe you met somebody, like I said, uh, maybe you were on a trail running, maybe you was outside you know, just walking or maybe you were standing outside of a, a, a store or standing at a bus stop, a train stop, whatever it is. You met this person in an outside setting. I also feel like with this 74, you know, someone is, is receiving a lot of uh, divine interventions. It's a lot of communication coming in terms of following their dreams, their goals, their aspirations, their hearts, truest desires. And someone is really just, you know, kind of like focusing on, you know, getting their coins together, their finances together. That way, when they do come in, there is going to be, you know, this, this ability to really cultivate a relationship with you on a deeper level and still have something to offer. Because this is somebody that wants to build and with self-discipline this is also falling in line with self-love you know self-discipline is all encompassing of the self self-love self-worth self-value so this is a part of their journey as well having to learn how to do for self to stand independently of another person so not being codependent that could be another reason why financial discipline is here because maybe they were in a relationship with someone and the both of them leaned heavily on the other you know or they could have leaned heavily on one another and this is something that they've had to learn is how to stand perpendicular in their own square how to find that sense of independence self-sufficiency stability but when they do this is the domestic harmony and the new beginning that I mentioned this is what's going to come in because this is what this person feels with you. Domestic harmony, you know, with that love there in the middle, the green, the heart chakra. And then we have this new beginning. This is the root chakra. So this is someone that can see family. They can see building a home. They can see building a legacy. They can see you as someone that they feel safe and secure with also. But they're knowing they need to take a time out before coming towards you so as not to duplicate past mistakes they want to learn they, they're growing from their experiences they're not trying to repeat these these cycles and so we have common and this is called I used to love her you know and a beautiful thing about this song and the name of the album is called resurrection so this is somebody that absolutely wants to resurrect this connection because I feel like this resurrection uh, this this connection may have fizzled and died something happened where um, there was a separation. There is no communication. And I feel like you've been, you know, really focusing on, you know, working on you healing yourself and, and even, you know, working on certain goals, certain endeavors. Some of you all could have went back to school, you know, to learn something, you know, uh, stu uh, you know, studying or building your wealth of knowledge. Um, 
some of you all could literally have been just, you know, seeking wise counsel and you could have been um, under studentship, under some master teacher, Reiki heel teacher, uh, maybe, you know, sound therapy. You were, you know, learning under someone. Crystal healing. You know, I, I feel there was this 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 learning process like this this process where you went into studentship like you were learning studying reading researching investigating and this also encompasses you know yourself included doing that work on yourself as well the things you were learning you were applying to yourselves that's why i said earlier like it's like you've been an initiate you've become an initiate because of the great work you've done on yourself so we have on the bottom of the divine goddess deck is we have infinite supply so beloved you have an infinite supply this means you're not going to have to worry about anything better days are ahead you're going to be supplied for today tomorrow and all of your forever so this is really a beautiful card of of reward and I feel this is a reward from the divine because of the healing, because of the great work you've been doing on yourself. And so now you are being blissed with opportunities, wish fulfillments, miracles. So this is gorgeous. So on the split, I'm losing my cards, but oh my God, <laughs> it's so slippery on this table. So, okay. And look what's underneath this card. You see how it's kind of showing and I already know what it is, but it's prosperity. So that's like double confirmation that you have abundance coming in. There's, there's, there's no doubt about it. And that's why you have to be open. You have to be receptive. And I feel because of this personal growth, um, I feel that there's this reward. I just strongly feel that. And you're picking up on that. You know that. There's, there's this knowing, you know. And so we have um, Gordon Banks, and this says, keep you in mind. So someone absolutely is keeping you in mind. But I see here with solace bodies of water, like I said, a lot of you are releasing. You're, you've released. You've purged. You've let a lot of ish go. You was like, let it go. Let it flow. Like, I'm not holding on to anything that doesn't value me, that doesn't honor me, respect me, love me authentically, genuinely. You were letting things go, purging people, places, things. A lot of you could have been doing release ceremonies. You could have been writing your thoughts down, the pain that you've been carrying, writing them down and burning them and releasing the ashes into the, the wind. You could have been at a pond, you know, like this feminine energy and just releasing, you know, letting go. Some of you all were doing some sort of release ceremonies as of recently, you know, especially, um, you know, with that new moon energy. And we're about to come into the, the full moon energy is absolutely right now, if I'm not mistaken. So it's like, yeah, some of y'all could be really doing these these release rituals and ceremonies, um, you know, just purging, getting rid of the energetic baggage. You know, that energetic baggage can just it can be just as heavy. So that is very important. So we have keep you in mind. So what did I say? Somebody keeps you in their mind constantly daydreaming when they wake up, when they go to bed, constantly running across their mind. It's like it's the way this person thinks of you. And I feel like that's why you're picking up on it, you know, because when you're being thought of so much, you know, and when you have uh, an obvious soul connection or twin flame connection with someone, um, you are going to pick up on that person's energy. You will. And so we have bodies of water. Look at that. So this is a proactive um, energy here, you know, the release. Uh, I feel someone's also could be healing because water is a very healing element as well. And I feel somebody's coming, you know, to, to heal the connection with you, as I said. Um, this is somebody who's really uh, also someone that loves to be in an, uh, a nature setting because we did see that nature card. So they may like to be out in nature. They may like to be, uh, you know, take walks. They may like bodies of water, oceans, ponds, lakes. Um, but I am sensing this sense of healing. 
um, someone really being active. This could even be your energy, um, the extent of what you had to do to heal that self. Um, and this is showing the work, the, you know, this is physical activity, which shows the, you know, how proactive you were in this process of healing, you know, and, and, and releasing and ultimately recharging and recalibrating and rejuvenating your spirit. So this is very beautiful, uh, beautiful energy. Um, and, and of course, you know, like I said, that 67 reduces to 13, which is the death. And so this bodies of water really helped you to, to, um, to heal and ground yourself and really neutralize, um, you know, the energy as well. And so we have big L and this is called put it on. Um, so with big L, I absolutely feel somebody, you know, was, was trying to run from the big L. The big L could be love. You know, when I think of the big L, I think of love. I think of, you know, the word love when I hear L. So maybe someone was really, um, healing from, a love connection, you know, maybe somebody was broken hearted because they felt a love for you, you know, but the big L is something that this person was trying to, trying to run from, but ultimately uh, had to turn around and confront it. And so, you know, this healing that they're doing is, is really making them realize the necessity, like I said, to express themselves, to communicate because this is an all blue card, which deals with the throat chakra. So this is about expressing, communicating. And we see that on the bottom of the numerology deck is communication. So they're doing a whole lot of communicating with you, like I said, intuitively and telepathically and visiting you in your dreams. But I feel like this person is finally going to open their mouths and they're going to speak something to you. They may send you a letter. They may send an email, they may DM you, they may text you if they have your number. Some of them I'm hearing they might pull up on that ass, but somebody is coming through because they wish to heal um, a connection. They wish to resurrect uh, because uh, we had a common, I used to love her song and that was um, the resurrection album. And so they were trying to resurrect the dead situation. I'm hearing also perhaps with an ex because there was someone that came in between um, a connection because we see six, six, that's 12, that's three. So there was like a third party. There was a third, uh, you know, like a kickstand in the scenario. Uh, we got bold here. So this person is trying to find that voice. Remember, I was saying they could have been a little intimidated, but they're they're going to be bold this time around. Um, in saying what they mean and meaning what they say, uh, because I feel like in the past there wasn't much of that going on. So a lot of this, you know, a lot of the things this person was feeling uh, was just kind of like they swallowed their pride, uh, not swallowed their pride. Excuse me. Um, they 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 didn't express themselves. They suppressed uh, themselves, you know, so this is really, um, somebody who's now going to be bold. They're going to, they're going to, you know, try to be a little more bold when it comes to, uh, saying what they, what they, what they need to say. Look us underneath that. This person feels that the, this connection is true love and they weren't bold enough in the past because maybe they were intimidated or maybe like I said before, they was kind of, you know, running from the connection, hiding from the connection you know, lying to themselves, deceiving themselves, sabotaging. But we see here, we got Tidra Moses, and this is called All That I Have. So all that they have, and this says unleash your adventurous side. And remember, we had that adventure card change. Um, it was 5-5. Five, five. And so this person is now willing to take that leap of faith and to, you know, to dive in. They're going to they're going to say what they need to say to heal this connection. So let's see, why is healing here for the person Scorpio is attracting? I have a message for our beloved Scorpios. Why is healing here for the person Scorpios are attracting? I have a message of love and of light, divine spirit. Every time we talk about this person and how they feel, they get a little hush. You know, this is just their energy. So it shot in my lap. Look what came out, prosperity. And then we also have this card. So I'm, I'm curious, infinite supply, stop playing. So the two cards, so this is how they feel. You know, they feel very prosperous. There's an infinite supply here. 
You know, they feel like you have an infinite supply, but this person feels that, you know, they, they, in order for them to have, they have to open up. They have to be receptive because the divine is trying to shower them, you know, with this prosperity. And this is an all pink card. So this is really, you know, um, emotional fulfillment. Prosperity could mean different things to different people. You know, to one person, prosperity could be, you know, having a loving family, healthy, loving you know, family, a supportive family to another person. Prosperity could be financial blessings, you know, not having to worry about money to another person. Prosperity could mean, you know, just having a home, you know, shelter. So this is, you know, this person with pink, you know, pink deals with the heart chakra. So I feel like this person just wants, you know, an abundance of love. And what we have is, is all that I have. You know, so all that they have, they may be very financially stable, you know, and, and all they have is just material things, but they lack love. You know, they lack that support system. They lack that 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 partner that they can shower these things with because it's like they this is the type of person that is very well off and, and they would be more than willing to to support their 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 um, spouse, their significant other. You know, this is the type of person that would, you know, gift you all the time for every anniversary, for every birthday, for every holiday. You know, they wouldn't just go buy a bouquet of flowers from Walmart. This is the type of person that would go and get you, you know, those beautifully cut hundred dollar plus boxes, you know, that you could have for over of a year, you know, like they would put thought into the gifts because they, they can afford it. This is somebody very financially stable, but you're matching their fly because with self-love, I said that the divine is, is blessing you. And you know this because this is a purple card. So it's like all the hard work effort that you've put in, the divine is saying, look, you're going to be supplied for all of your todays and tomorrows. So it's like you're matching their fly in a lot of ways. And this is also what's very attractive is because they see that you have your own, you're self-sufficient, you're independent. You don't have your hands, you know, sticking out like cups, you know, expecting somebody to drop something in it all the time. Like you, you, you could do good, you know, all on your own, you know, you're, you're doing well for yourself. That's, that's, that strength. That's that independence. That's also very attractive is because they could see that you would be able to take care of yourself, that you have um, an ability to uh, stand on your own. You know, you have your own. You're very, um, very stable, very secure. You, you know, it's like you got your own. So it's like you don't need them in a lot of ways. And so this is something that's also very attractive. I feel like you're getting these blessings and we see with this, you know, the tail end. It's like you're, 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 you're about to receive a great deal of, of prosperity. And we have um, Schoolboy Q, and this is called Break the Bank. So you're literally about to break the bank. Something is coming in unexpectedly, intuitively. You know this. This is like a dolphin or a whale's um, tail. It looks like a dolphin here. But then again, it looks like a whale. I feel like you're going to be a big one because they say you're like a whale. You're big. It's a whale. Like when that's when you have a lot, a lot of moolah, a lot of dough, cheddar cheese, biscuits. So, yeah, this is this is and, and intuitively, you know, this because we got this big moon. And I feel like in a lot of ways you've manifested this. So you break in the bank with something. Something's coming in and it's just going to be like it's more money than you ever have had in your life. You know, and, and look at this. It, it, this is your karma. Mama Ma'ad is here. This, she knows everyone's address. So you're receiving good karma. Things are being handled fairly and justly for you because of the way in which you've handled uh, past affairs. You know, the way that you've been working on yourselves, the due diligence, you know, the self-respect, the self-love that you have exhibited. You know, you, you, you were definitely um, also very fair in your dealings. And I feel like those are the things that the divine is, is really taking into account when it comes to showering you, blessing you, gifting you, uh, rewarding you. Those are the things that they're weighing. That's, that's the scale, you know, in ancient comedic history, the gods would weigh, um, you know, your heart 
against a feather to see how pure you were. And if your heart weighed heavier than the feather, then you would go, you know, you would you wouldn't go to heaven. You would go to the to the afterlife and have to go right back and do all this stuff again. So this is this is like the divine is saying your your heart is is pure. You have a golden heart. You know, you've been very, very uh, fair, very just in your actions. And this is what the divine is saying. Yeah, you, you about to break the bank. You about to break the Internet as well, because I feel like your, your story may possibly go viral. Um, so with health, let's see why is health here. So fairness. I feel like if anybody is suffering from any um, health issues, having any type of um, ailments, um, pains, um, anything like that, I feel like you're going to be fine, you know, because that's 71 again, that's, that's the eight. So that reminds me, like I said, of the star. So I am feeling like there's going to be a lot of healing, a lot of recovery, a lot of recuperation, rejuvenation, and you just need to, you know, really focus on, 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 um, the healing process opposed to, to, um, you know, quickly jumping back into stuff. It's like give your body time to heal, give yourself time to catch up. Um, but yeah, the 71 is absolutely uh, just letting me know that there's things are going to be back into equilibrium uh, and they're being handled fairly and justly. Mama, my aunt is ensuring that. So why is, whoa, look at that. So why is 71 here? So we have don't back down. So we got don't back down, Bridget. Stand up for what you believe in, beloveds. And then we have quiet time. So it is absolutely time for somebody to uh, quiet the mind, I heard, first and foremost, to get out of their head. Uh, because with that 71, I was picking up like the eight of swords energy uh, because it says health. So I feel like somebody's mental health because this purple on the inside of that symbol and that deals with the crown chakra. So somebody could really be like, you know, they're, they're just their mind is going crazy. But what they need to do is instead of, you know, letting things uh, cause them angst and instead of ruminating, pining, you know, overanalyzing, overthinking, analysis, paralysis, they need to just say what they mean and mean what they say. It's, it's about communication, expressing what you feel. It's like you can't just uh, live in your head. You have to, to, to communicate because communication ultimately is key. So I feel like, you know, the divine is telling somebody like, don't back down, speak your truth, speak your mind, say how you feel. Um, so somebody could be going into like meditation mode, um, you know, kind of like quieting the mind, um, gathering their thoughts. Cause I do see, you know, there's like this, um, glow of lights. There's a couple of glows of light. Um, and the main color I see is green. So someone is realizing, like I said, um, uh, there's, there's love. Um, there's love. There's, there's, uh, some sort of emotional um, connection or fulfillment uh, that they may be seeking. And I feel what they're first doing is learning to love themselves because you have to first love you. You know, that's an inside job, just like happiness, peace, love. Those are all inside jobs. And I feel like that's why this person is taking some quiet time to do the internal work, to take the internal self audits, because the answers that we seek are always found within. So this is the time that this person is taking to instead, instead of going in the mind, they're going within themselves now. Um, and that's why the divine is reminding them, look, quiet time, meditate to get things straight, you know, to contemplate on your next move. Um, and when you figure what your next move is going to be, don't back down, you know, stand very proudly, very perpendicular in your square. And I feel like that's why the seven is there because the seven deals with the crown chakra, as I said. So that could be the divine interventions, downloads, transmissions they're getting from spirit. And then that one is them finally making a decision to move in a passionate new direction. Um, and it's because they had, you know, they took that time to go into that meditative state. So that's beautiful. See that? I can't make this up. Sacred space. Connecting with source. Connecting with the divine, you know, this is surrendering to the divine. This is lighting your candles, building that connection with your ancestors, with your spirit team, you know, calling upon, you know, your, your, your guides, your gods, 
asking for direction, asking for the strength. You know, as I said, you know, personal growth is, you know, about the, the, the resilience and, and persevering through the traumatic experiences that you've had in friendships, family dynamics, in your love connections. Uh, but it's also the, 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 the development of trusting, you know, your own intuition um, because you learn whenever you second guess yourself, those were when you found yourselves in situations. So you, you learned more so moving forward, trust your intuition. And that was the personal growth because your intuition never steers you wrong. So with this card here, this is sacred space. Many of you could have altars. Um, you could be, you know, devoting time in front of your altars, connecting with your ancestors, your spirit team. And there's just a lot of downloads right now. Um, there's a lot of, of connection, a lot of energy uh, that you could be receiving right now at this time. Because with this purple card, like I said, that's the, the crown chakra. So there's a lot of activity, I feel. And so who do we have right now? We got Ninja Man. And this says, um, Strictly the Best, Volume 2. And the name of the song is called Murder Them. So yeah, Strictly the Best. So you're, you're focusing on being you know, the best version of yourself, You're, you know, that's what personal growth is all about, you know, the parts of you that no longer serve your highest good, whether those are belief systems, ideologies, habits, behaviors, uh, whether that's realizing the people you were around um, were no good or the job that you was working at wasn't good for you, healthy for you, the area that you resided in wasn't healthy for you. It's like you're making those changes to, to, to put yourself in positions that are going to help you flourish and thrive. Um, so that's what you're doing now. That's the personal growth uh, is not settling um, and not being um, complacent, if you will. So why is personal growth here? That's beautiful. Past life. So you and your twin flame soulmate are both working on your own selves, like healing past life traumas. That's what the seven is all about. So both of you all are doing a lot of karmic he you're healing from karmic lessons. Um, that's the growth. That's the, the, the personal growth. I also feel like you're dealing with a twin flame. And as I said, this is destiny. You know, this is a destiny type connection because everything you've experienced with this person, it was meant to happen this way because it's ultimately what catapulted you into you know, the, 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 the spiritual journey that you've been on, doing your soul work, um, you know, doing your dark night of the soul work. So with this past life, this is, you know, definitely letting me know that this is a, a spiritual union, a divine connection. Um, this is the yang to your yin, yin to your yang. Uh, and this is someone um, that you have, like I said, a history with. Um, there is history. There is a uh, a connection beyond this space and time. Uh, we have guiding children. So not only are you guiding and teaching and being the first teachers to your own children, um, if you have, but I also feel like you've been healing your own inner child. And as you have been healing your inner child, those watching and looking on have also been triggered and activated and inspired and motivated to start doing their own healing just like your person because we have healing here so i feel like there's a lot of you know inner child healing work that's being done um i feel your person is is absolutely learning from you uh we have sensitivity this is a divine connection so you know you've grown very sensitive to toxic connections as i said in the beginning it's like you were starting to realize that you know what worked for you and what didn't that's a part of knowing your worth. That's a part of knowing your value. That's a part of knowing thyself is knowing the type of people that should and shouldn't have access to you. Um, knowing the type of boundaries you need to set, um, knowing how high your standards ought to be because you know what you bring to the table. So you're not selling yourself short and you're not just going along to get along. You're not just appeasing to please or self-sabotaging or overcompensating because it's like you know that you are the prize, that you are the divine feminine or the divine masculine, that you do have something to add on to the connection. 
And that's something that I feel like a lot of you all realize, which is why you are growing very sensitive to those toxic connections, to those one-sided, non-reciprocal connections. Relationship with this person is very spiritually protected. As you can see here, it says you and your loved ones are spiritually protected. And I feel more importantly, this connection in and of itself is very divinely protected. I feel you've been protected on this journey because as I said, as an initiate um, of the practice, whatever it is that you do, that you know you do, and no one does it like you, whether it's reading tarot cards, whether it's making music, creating music, whether it's being an artist, whether it's painting, drawing, uh, animation, whether it's um, playing an instrument, whether it's producing, whether it's writing, whether it's poetry, whether it's whatever it is that you do, um, there is no one else like you. There's a very unique skill or gift or talent that you have. And that is why you are being spiritually protected because you have a gift that you are to share with the collective to help awaken other people. So you are a healer, shaman, and a light worker. And the divine is, is telling you like you're protected. When you have this type of protection, that shows that there is, um, you're in a higher spiritual rank in my, um, in my humble opinion. So what I'm seeing here is we got beautiful life playing by Nas. So it says beautiful life. I'm sorry, large professor, key to the city. Okay, what's going on? Why aren't these songs playing? All right. Oh, give me one moment. Is it? It glitched. You know how fugazi my little iPad is. So let's go ahead. We're going to get some additional messages and then we're going to wrap it up. And you know what? I'm going to use the tarot cards this time around. So we have the king of cups on the bottom of the deck. So this is the suit to the queen of cups. So this is your energy, you know. Um, so this is someone and he has a smile. You know, the king of cups is depicted on traditional tarot. It's just kind of like looking but not trying to let you know he's looking. So, you know, that's what that, that I usually get, like, you know, secret admirer energy, somebody that really feels deeply but not communicating it because this is a very reserved king. But this king looks to be, you know, very open to letting you know how he feels, what he got on his chest. Like he's not afraid to say what he what he has to say, you know, um, and he looks to be offering you something. There's a rock in his hand. And so, you know, and then there's a boat. So there could be distance and there's a willingness, I feel, to travel um, maybe in the near future because this is in the future direction. There could be some, you know, a visit, you know, maybe somebody could, um, you know, just ask to uh, visit you or invite you to their home, whatever. This person sees you as a star. You got the star here. So what did I say? Your wish fulfillment, that eight, you know, that was showing up. It was like that the eight is that wish fulfillment. That's the dream. Remember, remember your dreams, follow your dreams showed up. So they see you. This is the, the, the star is the alchemist. You know, she knows as above, so below, as within, so without. She's aware of the powers she possesses, much like the magician is aware of the power he possesses. And so this is really like, you know, turning your vulnerabilities into a superpower. There's no more of a more, there isn't more of a vulnerable um, uh, position than to be naked. But she's owning it. She's strong. She's in her power. And she's literally reached the peak, you know, the mountaintop. So there's a sense of victory. There's a sense of blessings. You could see that there's stars here all around. So there's like some sort of wish fulfillment. This is beautiful. This is also like you know, grounding yourself in healing from past pains, as is the bodies of water card as well. So look at this. We got the eight of swords. Didn't I mention the eight of swords? Somebody up in their head. You know, this is the agonizing, ruminating, pining. That's the mental angst. Give me one moment. Pardon me. So, yeah, that's that's like the, the ruminating. This is the eight. And this is like the mental health because that purple deals with the crown. So there it is. And this is someone like battling their own demons, you know, and this is again, you know, see that person up there, you know, this is what they, it's almost like the angels are guiding someone, instructing someone to look, get your thoughts out. <laughs> you know, remember I was saying how, you, you know, somebody needs to maybe journal, 
you know, maybe journal their thoughts, maybe, you know, take a page out of your book and, and, and just start like journaling or doing something to release, maybe a release ceremony, just getting their thoughts out. Because when you're just holding on to something, it, it, it will imprison you. Your thoughts can become an imprisonment and ultimately a grave because that's exactly what that is right there. So somebody's getting the aha, the epiphany I see here. This King of Cups is really starting to realize, you know, like I said, the magnitude. Maybe that was self-deception. You know, maybe somebody was in an illusion. Maybe somebody realized that somebody was mind eff effing them, mind you know, manipulating them. See that? The Queen of Swords, cutting people off. That does not honor your highest good. This is the energy that you had to go into. And I keep hearing BD, BDE, BDE. And, and, and that means B, big D energy, you know. So this is, you know, I, I was hearing that with this Queen of Swords, you know. So this is like, that's for a feminine energy. Um, of course, masculines, but... You know, they usually say that with a feminine that is very strong. Um, you know, she, she, you know, you could still be very feminine, very soft, um, you know, very beautiful, attractive, but you could still give off that BDE energy uh, because it's just like there's, there's a strength about you. And I feel like with the Queen of Swords, that's exactly what that is. This is like somebody not playing with nobody. Like, you're not going to play with me. You're not going to play with my time. If you don't have nothing to offer, off with your head, Wu-Tang style, like she's literally telling somebody where they could go. Like you could go to the left, to the left, to the left. What do you have to say? And they know to bow down because it's like she doesn't take too kindly to anybody insulting her intelligence. She's also smiling, you know, but this I'm hearing the word wicked. This could be like seen as a wicked smile, you know, so you, you can be um, coming off very um, aggressive in someone's eyes, which is why they could be a little, you know, apprehensive in coming in. Um, we got the nine of swords. So this is, again, you know, that energy. We got two swords in his hand going in two different directions. So that automatically tells you that somebody was just kind of like just talking out of both sides of their mouth. You know, just, just you know, kind of like double talking, you know, two-faced, uh, even confused, you know, a little conflicted mentally, you know. And so this is having to take that time to look at things from a different perspective. This is pretty much like the fool. Um, but this is uh, the observer, you know. So now they're being forced. This is a sacrificial position that the divine will force you to go into if you're coming off very confused and conflicted. You know, this is like taking accountability. So they're blindfolded, but there's all these eyeballs in the sky, which is allowing them to see all different directions, all different scenarios, all different circumstances. And that's the reason why at the end of the day, they're looking at things with a whole different perspective. You know, this is somebody now having to take accountability and onus, you know, for a lot of the, the, uh, confusion I feel in the connection because right underneath the observer is the five of swords so this is somebody that you could have felt like stabbed you in the back somebody that could have had a lot of options somebody that was listening to da -dun -da -dunce, you know getting bad advice from people that didn't know they asked from the elbow themselves you know this is that type of female or that type of guy that gets relationship advice from somebody that been in a relationship, you know, that hadn't been in a relationship in like 15 years. It's like, what are you doing? Like, how would you get advice? That's like me going to a homeless man asking them for financial uh, advice. It's like, what are you talking about? Like, how are you, w w like what? <laughs> so this is exactly what was going on. So now we see the King of Pentacles. So now this person is seeing the situation in a completely different perspective. This is what you are coming off as somebody who is very successful, abundant. There's a lot of prosperity. Maybe this is that same person. They have a lot to offer financially, but maybe they were, you know, not as skilled in the love department. 
because they focus solely on finances, material items, and maybe that's why they were kind of feeling themselves and smelling themselves a little too much is because, you know, they was like, look, I got options out here. I could live like a bachelor or a bachelorette because I got my own money and I got my BMW and I'm driving around in my BMW and, you know, like they, they was very materialistic and then bam, they met you. So now we have the emperor. So you got some some competition here. You know, that's pretty much like the same energy. The ping, king of pentacles is almost like pre-emperor status. You know, so this is that boss, that leader. This is the entrepreneur. Uh, this is somebody who goes in, you know, it's like they are the shot callers. You know, they make things happen. Um, they're leaders. They're go-getters. They make you know, the shot calls. And we see this ace of pentacles. So there is a beautiful offer here. This is something tangible, something real. This is a blessing from the divine also, because I'm strongly feeling like the divine is showering you with some sort of wish fulfillment, some sort of financial blessing. Um, this is going to come out of the blue. You know, this is like, this is really coming out of the blue, something that you don't even see. And I feel like it's because, as I said, like you've endured a lot, you know, you've really endured a lot of, 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 of pain um, throughout your journey. And I feel like you've kept a very positive outlook to say the least. Um, and you've remained very humble. You've remained someone very fair, very just. Um, and that's why good karma is coming back to you. And so we got the, look at this. I can't make this up. You got the lovers. Didn't we speak on the lovers earlier when I was shuffling the cards? You got the lovers and then there's sun up there. So this is what your ancestors are aligning you with. They're aligning you with someone that is your, you know, a like mind. Um, this is a kindred spirit, a soulmate, a twin flame, the yang to your yin. Um, this is somebody that will show you uh, that they do want to collaborate, build an alliance. Uh, and they will absolutely uh, come. They're coming to you to heal this connection this is like equal give and take but you can see clearly like the ancestors the angels there's like a masculine so I don't know if you have like a father in the spirit realm that's aligning you uh, with your divine feminine or your divine masculine but this is someone that you will be equally yoked with this is somebody that is going to um, extend of themselves they're going to be very attentive and very protective and very affectionate and very caring um, and I feel ultimately this connection uh, is going to build into a very beautiful spiritual union. We saw that love uh, partnership card. Um, so this is letting me know that this is absolutely, you know, as you heal yourself, you can now be more open and receptive to love. And what did I say about somebody being in the hermit mode? So that's what this person is doing. The person you're attracting, they've really been, you know, holed up in the house. Like they've been working on themselves because the hermit is a wizard. And he knows clearly all the answers he's seeking are found within. And that's why this person has been focusing on healing themselves. Because as I said, they see you as the divine feminine. They see you as that star, somebody that radiates love, light, somebody that's wise, somebody that's a healer, a shaman, someone that's maternal, loving, nurturing, very abundant, a master manifester. So they're coming in to match your fly. They've had some sort of epiphany. And what they realize is their passion, their love, the fire, that fire represents, you know, the, the feelings that are intensifying, growing, building within them. And they're ready to take a leap of faith. They're really ready to come toward you. This is a passionate new beginning, passionate new start. It's like they got all the money in the world, but that you, you know, what you going to do with, with wads of cash and you don't have nobody there to, to, to share it with or to, to um, you know, to experience the world with. See this, look at this, five of pentacles. So somebody felt left out in the cold, somebody was abandoned. And this is like, if you look up here, this is somebody who, you know, could have been, because I see a man that, and then there's a feminine energy that's there like kind of tending to that person. But then this, I don't know what this thing is, but it makes me itch every time I look at it such an ugly beast or whatever that is but it's like this person here with the five of pentacles this is somebody that felt like they were left out in the cold you know this is somebody that really felt abandoned in a connection maybe somebody that they were in a relationship with could have been tending to another person 
and this could have made them, you know, very money hungry, very focused on the money. And that's what they did was they just, you know, because remember we had uh, financial discipline. So maybe that's where they kind of got lost in just building up their network, um, you know, financial discipline. Uh, it was just re very money motivated. Um, and, you know, they weren't really working on the self. They was just kind of building their bank, you know, but I see here with the Ace of Pentacles, you know, this person really daydreams, I feel, of making an offer, extending an offer to you, or even just like saying, hey, you know, um, this situation is real love. It's a past life situation. We both feel it. And they could just propose. They could give you a gift, a, a ring, a promise ring, a promise bracelet, necklace, earrings, whatever. It's like this is somebody gifting you with something. But more importantly, this is the divine also gifting you with some sort of wish fulfillment, blessing, fortune. Um, but this is like a new job offer. Um, this is success in your career. Uh, this could be a promotion, pay increase, a bonus, a lucrative business deal. Maybe you're moving into a home, a new home, a new apartment. Uh, maybe you're getting a new vehicle. Tax time is coming. So you could be getting a nice chunk of change. And maybe you got some plans for that money to invest it in a property. But whatever that may be, um, this is like a blessing. You know, this is something really beautiful, something tangible. Um, that you are receiving. So why is self-love infinite supply here for my beloved Scorpios? I have a message. Thank you. Card flew on the floor. And we got the Knight of Wands. So self-love. You wasn't dealing with somebody in and out. You was not dealing with somebody on that mixed signals, revolving door, hot, cold, up, down, left, right, emotional roller coaster. You was not dealing with that. And that's why you're getting the supply, infinite supply, because you knew your worth. And you said, pardon my back. I know what you're doing out there so you could keep on doing it. You know what I'm saying? This is also you moving forward. This is also you focused on your, your, your creativity, a business. This is you investing your time and energy into something new, getting downloads, having new ideas for business and taking action and things like really prospering because you have infinite supplies. So maybe you're going to get um, some sort of endorsement. You know, maybe somebody's going to want to partner up with you and sell your products for like a, a like a major chain, like a Target or a Walmart or, um, you know, wherever. Like wh this is just like, you know, a very um, a very opulent uh, circumstance, you know. Um, but I also feel like with the self-love that you, you know, really learn to love yourself in dealing with a player um, in dealing with, you know, that player. Um, at, you know, that person that wanted to be, you know, on their own time, uh, that person that was, I, like I said, that commitment phobe, not really committed to a relationship, just wanting to play the field, you know, be the bachelor, the bachelorette. Um, this is somebody that couldn't get it right. They, they couldn't figure. And you can see that they're kind of like um, shedding the snake. So there was a snake in the past. They was definitely, you know, sneaking and snooping and somebody you couldn't trust. Um, but now it looks like they seem to be evolving into some sort of, of bird or eagle. or um, And so this is like an evolution. This is a transformation. Um, and that's what someone has witnessed you do is transform into, you know, your powerful uh, self. You know, so, you know, the, 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 the snake isn't just about, you know, that sneaky energy. Snakes also represent change and transformation because they shed their old version, that old skin. Um, they, they outgrow that old skin and they have to shed it. And so that's what you had to do as well as you had to get rid of those faulty belief systems and those faulty um, ideologies, behaviors, habits uh, and people, places, things, circumstances in order to evolve into your best version of yourself. And that's absolutely what you did. And that's why I feel someone was very motivated um, and inspired by your story, inspired by your growth. 
And that's why you have this infinite supply because you have evolved, you've ascended, you've grown. Bottom of the deck, we got the sun card, can't make this up. So now someone is having this epiphany, this grand epiphany, this grand perspective now, um, this evolved perspective of you, of this union, of this connection. They were confused and conflicted before, ruminating and pining, mental anguish. Um, but now they know they can't back down because what they feel is real this person is holding a heart so it's like they they feel like you um you absolutely have their heart uh you have their heart they cannot deny uh these feelings that they feel um and they feel the feelings intensifying so they've gone into the hermit mode they've gone into that you know let me go within to figure it out and 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 the conclusion is that they really care about you on a deeper scale, regardless of what they may show you. Um, this is somebody that realizes that they care for you. Um, and we do have um, Biggie. This is uh, Notorious B.I.G. And this is called My Downfall. And what he says is they pray and pray on my downfall. And, you know, I do the they pray and pray on your downfall series. Um, so that's what this person was kind of like. Uh, ruminating and pining over uh, maybe it was someone that they were connected with and that's what they had to break free from and there was some sort of truth some sort of clarity um, they also see you in a whole new light uh, like I said they see you as that radiant um, being they see you as someone very rare very kind caring loving powerful um, and the sun is on both of these cards uh, along with two you know two elements so to me that's like yin yang energy um, this is like dual energy also so this is really telling me that somebody is coming to the truth as to the magnitude of the connection they feel with you that they have with you right underneath that is the moon so you got the sun and the moon so this is something they've been hiding um, they also could have been hiding like I said uh, a relationship or a connection they were in from you but you knew because you're intuitive um and you're a psychic and that's why they feel like you caught their eyes shifting they you caught them in a lie um because remember we had jay-z 444 album so you know the angels was like giving you the divine interventions anyway that 444 album reference is just like you was getting downloads synchronicities you was you knew you know you was waking up in the middle of the night but you, there was something someone was hiding from you. And I feel like the truth came to light or maybe someone had someone, you know, um, lying to them. But there is with this uh, Knight of Cups, uh, this is an extension, like I said, of an olive branch or an apology uh, because they're realizing that somebody that they could have had some sort of attachment with. Uh, a karmic was really preying on their downfall, really trying to sabotage them, their happiness, their life. And, you know, by them going within, we saw the observer. We also saw, um, you know, this person really taking that time, you know, in the hermit mode to really soul search, you know, to do those deep dives, to really ensure, you know, what they're doing, who they're with um, is best suited for them, you know, ultimately. And I feel like they're going to they're realizing that, you know, they're happiest with you. You bring joy, you bring happiness. You bring a sense of peace into their world, something that they haven't felt um, with anyone else. Any of those other options, choices, uh, karmics, uh, you know, nobody else. None of them other people uh, did it for them the way that you did. So let's go ahead. So let's see. Why is mental health or why is health here? Don't back down and quiet time here for our beloved Scorpios for what's hidden in the energy. Thank you, spirit. So we have... The Knight of Pentacles. And then we also have the Knight of Swords. So this person is watching you, trying to figure out a strategy, a plan, how to speak to you. They're still trying to kind of hide. Like, remember, I was picking up on somebody being like a secret admirer, just kind of watching from a distance because he's wearing that mask. So he's not revealing that he's watching you, but he is trying to work his way to you because this this um, this looks like a king to me, even though they're saying the knight. Um, this is someone who looks very like, you know, these these garbs looks very kingish. Um, so this is someone very well off, very well to do. And they're coming in bearing gifts. So that's the, the, the proactivity. Like they know they got to show and prove. They know they're dealing with a divine feminine, divine masculine. So they're not coming in trying to breadcrumb you. This is someone willing to invest, in, you know, long term. 
This is someone that's looking for stability and security, someone willing to, to build a nucleus of family, that happily ever after. And um, this is someone that absolutely uh, is watching you. Um, they're at a distance. There's no communication, but they are prepared to communicate because the sword is up. So this is someone that wants to reach out. They want to communicate. They've had some sort of epiphany, um, you know, because they were in hermit mode for a while. They were not communicating. We got quiet time. So they've been doing a lot of meditating, trying to get things straight. And now they're prepared to express themselves. But they're moving in very slowly uh, because they're getting out of their head. And now they're, you know, finding that 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 uh, confidence uh, to come toward you. Uh, look at this, the Ten of Pentacles. I can't make this up. This is a past life connection because you can see the angels and ancestors. They're like conspiring behind the scenes. You can see you, you may have like a grandmother, a mother, an auntie, a sibling, a cousin uh, that is like kind of orchestrating this whole situation. And there was uh, a need to grow. You know, somebody's preying on the downfall because they see how sacred this union, this connection is. You get the Ten of Pentacles with personal growth and past life. So there was a lot of work that was necessary. And I'm hearing, um, I got work, baby. I got work to do. And I don't know who that was. I don't know if that was Denise Williams, but um, it was like you had to do your work. You had to do your work in order to get to this point because you can't fake it. There's no faking work. You can't fake doing soul work, can't fake healing. And I feel like that's why, you know, this past life connection, you know, whoever this person is, when you met them, when they met you, there was this synergy in chemistry that was undeniable. But the two of you came together, um, reconnected in this lifetime and then separated so that you could do your work. And if you do your work, um, then the two of you can come back into union. And I feel like this could be a very blissed union. This is a very beautiful connection. The Ten of Pentacles is not just financial stability, but this is emotional. This is having a, a counterpart, a love partnership, someone you can build with, grow with, someone that you can have a happy life with. And this, we have starship, and it says nothing's going to stop us now. So this is what this connection is. This, nothing can stop a spiritual union or divine masculine and divine feminine from coming into union. Even though you got haters praying on your downfall, when the divine says you're spiritually protected, nothing's going to stop this union. This is the happy house, happy spouse card right here. And you're stable, you're content, you're happy, you're overjoyed, you have good business dealings, things are just really flourishing. So why is um, personal growth so that's what you've learned to do. Like you've, you, you, you and this person are building like a, a, a legacy, you know, an empire together. Thank you, spirit. And this is an extra card because it's sticking out. So we got the four of wands. I can't make this up. Four of wands is letting you know that this is a divine connection. This is literally like 1111 right there. So this is a marriage. This is a partnership. You and this person will get married. And the Ten of Wands is here. So this has been a long road to this. And it's like you felt like you gave and gave and gave. You know, maybe in the past there was no reciprocity, you know. But this is you, like, unburdening yourself from anything. Maybe your person is finally unburdening themselves. You know, because I do see someone has gained some wisdom here. There's an owl totem. And I also feel like, you know, with this, this, this is like setting your boundaries, but this is also showing like nothing's going to stop us. So regardless of whatever, you know, heaps and bounds, it's like y'all have still made it to this four of wands. So nothing's going to stop you. Not, uh, you know, because this connection goes beyond space and time, you know, and this is a relationship that you may not be communicating with this person, but you're absolutely communicating on a telepathic and intuitive level, psychic level. You know, this is a spiritual connection and it's been very, you know, much like, a, you know, this uphill battle, you know, but you you've persevered. This is the perseverance and the resilience because you were fighting for, you know, a divine counterpart. And we got the six of swords here. So this is really like creating that safe space, that safe haven, you know, and somebody has been hiding their feelings, but they're creating their own, you know, imprisonment. You know, not trying to show their true feelings, but nothing's going to stop this connection because at the end of the day, this person is going to realize that, you know, they have to reveal 
how they feel. The Six of Swords really is you creating a safe space from anything that does not honor you. So if somebody was in confusion, you're, they're, they're definitely coming back. Or See that? Look at that. Can't make this up. So the person that was confused and conflicted, you created space, you moved away from them. They literally created their own prison, though. You know, when you when you are like kind of all over the place, because you can see clearly with the two of wands, you know, this is like, you know, being stuck at a fork in the road. But now somebody is charging full steam ahead. Uh, and with justice here, I feel somebody is going to shoot their shot because they know what they want. And I feel like the spirit is bringing somebody in that's going to absolutely love you because nothing's going to stop you this time around because with this past life connection y'all could have been going through this for several years and you may have option because that two of wands also is saying like you know with two that's duality so that could be like two people coming in trying to profess and confess their love you know their desire whatever so we have johnny mcclerklin we fall down but we get up so, yeah, so you and this person, y'all could have fell down, fell out, you know, but there's an opportunity. Like I said earlier, I was picking up on resurrection. I was picking up on, you know, um, reconciling. And so we have here, chem it says chemistry of love. I plus you equals we plus, you know, equals we and us. So this is what this connection is. Like I said, chemistry can't be faked. Synergy can't be faked. It says you are uniquely made beautiful soul. So someone is absolutely in awe, attracted. You got success coming in and it's because you know your worth and value. It's because of your hard work ethic. It's because of you staying focused, losing yourself in some sort of creative gift, talent. You got emotional uh, intelligence, attentive, affectionate, loving, protective, honest, communicative, loyal, and transparent. So that's what you're attracting now. I feel like whoever you was dealing with in the past, that's what they lacked. What did I say? Somebody sees you as a shining star, a very radiant, you know, loving, self-loving person. Someone that's very inspiring and motivating and encouraging. And it says, um, learn a new healthy recipe, eat to live and check the ingredients, you know, so with that health, that also could be, you know, letting you know, like you, some of you all need to start doing some sort of, um, detoxes. Um, maybe some of you all started a diet and you fell off and with this song, they saying, look, you might've fell off the bandwagon, but get right back on it and do what you got to do. Um, maybe some of you all were going to the gym and you stopped for a couple of days, go back. Uh, see that? Look at this. You got pay increase here. I can't play. Pay increase, lucrative business deals, and it says be thankful and chemistry of love. You're attracting um, some sort of wish fulfillment. This is abundance. This is success. This is beautiful. So you guys got something beautiful coming in. Trust what you're feeling. Trust your intuition. Trust your gut instinct, that gumption. A lot of you all can be receiving downloads. Remember, we did see nature. So when you're out in nature, you may be seeing yourselves bumping into certain animal totems. Maybe you're coming across um, some feathers. Maybe you're seeing certain numbers on license plates that may be driving by. Whatever it is, pay attention. Look up the spiritual meanings. And we have don't eat everyone's food. Don't let everyone in your home. So be mindful of what you're ingesting because a lot of people are cray cray out here. A lot of people are doing, you know, they, they become in like YouTube uh, practitioners and they getting all this information and not knowing what the hell they doing. And they doing all this stuff. Didn't we just have praying on your downfall? So there's some folks that's praying on your downfall because you have a very beautiful um, relationship here. There's something cultivating that's very beautiful. And this could be an X for either you or the person you're attracting. Somebody has a lot of regret, remorse, shame. They now see the role they played in the demise of a relationship. And that could be why someone feels a little apprehensive and coming in a little intimidated. Look at that feather. Look at that. I just mentioned the feather. So it says protection and love from your guardian angels. And remember, we saw Artemis and it says you are spiritually protected. So you and this connection, I feel is spiritually protected. And I also feel some of you all could be bumping into feathers. You may be finding yourselves um, finding feathers. Some of you all could be getting a fe I'm hearing you could be getting like a feather tattoo. 
And so we got frenemies. They don't really rock with you. So that's what you had to purge. You had to release people, places and things that was not honoring you. And that was the death. The death was learning that the people you loved, that you were loyal to, that you had so much love and respect for, didn't reciprocate. They didn't feel the same way. And that was the healing that was required for you. That's why you had to go and repurge. That's why you had to go and heal. That's why you had to go and let go. You had to let go and let God, you know, let it go, let it flow. But you were very proactive in healing thyself. And this is where you've learned to love yourselves as well. And with We Fall Down and Get Back Up by Donnie McClurklin, that's what you did. You fell. You fell, you know, out of that tower, but you landed on your feet because you learned, you know, you learned who your enemies were. These were people that were kind of like throwing rocks at you, but hiding their hands, um, you know, trying to defame your character but smiling in your face, stabbing you in the back, by hiding their hands. And so we have now Nas, and this is called Cherry Wine. So this is somebody who could have had like, you know, addictions. They could have been addicted to you, or they could have just been like real toxic, you know, because I'm thinking of like wine, drinking, you know, another term for wine or liquor is called spirits. So these were people who had, you know, they were dealing in their shadow side, you know. And so we had... I just said they were addicted to you. Look at this. And we got they're addicted. It says they're addicted to you. This might be cause for alarm. Deal accordingly. So that's what you was dealing with. That's what you was healing from. You have people that were stalking you. You have people that were addicted to you, that were obsessed and possessive and possessed, you know, like by you. Like this is just a ridiculous um type of energy especially when you learn like these are not your friends like these were not your your people these people were really like out for blood you know so you had to really purge that you had to get rid of that these people had addictions also like I feel like they were you know either drinking too much smoking too much you know they just they didn't have they lack I'm hearing they lacked self-control you know they didn't even have um, the ability to make their own decisions. I feel like they were really, um, in, like they were really led astray by their, their circle, you know, so they, they would listen to anybody. Cause I was picking up earlier, like somebody's listening to a friend that doesn't even have a healthy relationship or they, you know, you, you got somebody listening to people who have not been in a relationship for like 15, 20 years. And it's like, why are you getting relationship advice from somebody who has never had a healthy relationship? That's something you go and speak to somebody who's been in a relationship for 40 years, not somebody who doesn't, who has an, a non-existent relationship. So that's the type of person that you're dealing with. And we got to treat yourself. You deserve it. Self-love is the best love. That's what someone is learning, I feel, after being abandoned, because I strongly feel somebody was abandoned. But they focused on their coins, their money, their stability. So why is healing, prosperity, and the five of pentacles? And it says perform a release rich, uh, ceremony. Write it down and burn it. Take the ashes to a body of water or outside and release. Let it go. Let it flow. I literally said that verbatim in the reading. And here we go. So somebody needs to release, you know, this pain that they've been carrying uh, from being abandoned. Because I feel like somebody was abandoned you know, and left out on their own to figure it out, um, you know, and they were struggling, whereas somebody else had some help, you know, so they went to go help someone else, whereas they left uh, this person, the person you're attracting alone. And what, she, um, what um, Amy Winehouse is saying is, where is he, the one I could find? Wait, what did she say? Hold on, I want to give you the lyrics. Where is he, the man who is just like me? So she's saying, where is he, the man who is just like me? I heard he was hiding somewhere. I can't say. So that's what this person is saying. Like he's now the person you're attracting is saying, like, where is the person like me? Where is the person that's emotionally intelligent, available, accountable? You know, somebody that speaks my love language. Where is, where is he? Where is she? Because. You know, and look at this. You are uniquely made, beautiful soul. That's what this person is starting to realize about the connection they have with you. It wasn't a fight with you. It was just more natural. It was organic. Remember, nature showed up. 
So it was like the connection with you just flowed, you know. So why is self-love, infinite supply and the um, Knight of Wands here for how the person Scorpio is attracting feels? But I love Scorpios. We have a message of love and of light, divine spirit. Why is self-love, infinite supply and Knight of Wands here for our beloved Scorpios. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. And it says, jealousy is a sickness. Hater alert, stalker alert. So there's definitely somebody that is jealous of this, the beauty that you possess. And I feel like this is the person's, you know, whoever these individuals are, because you've had to transform and change, you know, on some folks. And I feel like whoever you, you know, whoever sparked this initial a uh, transformation in you could be a little jealous because of your transformation because of your growth so how they feel is that you have a lot of jealousy around you a lot of people that are envious of you a lot of people that could be hating on you um and it could even be the person that they're releasing you know that they're exiting you know from that they're completing a cycle with because maybe that person may have caught wind of how this person felt maybe they spoke about you um you know in, a, in in some sort of way and now there's a jealousy but i am seeing here on the bottom of the deck life is good you're unbothered you're feeling really good you're bliss and that's what is causing and drawing i feel this jealousy you know because people are seeing that you, you you're just you're just a natural you got a natural flow it's just like you are who you are um, and you're not trying to fit in, you're, you're an individual. And that's what this, this is why there's this, this sense of angst and the sense of like stalking and jealousy and envy and, uh, hatred. Uh, and it's because you've, you've really transformed. Like I said, you have evolved greatly. Um, and it's because of your own doing, you know, it's your just do. It's like what you put into the universe, those seeds that you've, planted and sowed and cultivated and nurtured they're now built you know it's a harvest it's a jungle um because of your hard work and effort and so we got gangsta boo and this is called where them dollars at so that's what you you, you you're you're manifesting you know you're manifesting you're like a walking uh manifest master manifester like you're just creating opportunities passive income multiple streams of income someone may see that you are you know you're not lacking in any area you're not wanting for anything and this is causing a lot of jealousy and it's because of your creativity like something you're doing you know you've been really busy creating and and building your own empire and that's why there's jealousy here and you're living the good life and it's because you believed in yourself you know, you believed in yourself and you did it. You know, you manifested your dreams into reality. So why is health? Um, don't back down. Quiet time. King, uh, the queen. Uh, I'm sorry. The knight of pentacles and the knight of um, and the page of swords. Oh, this is the page. Not even the knight. Somebody's stalking, watching, but they're ready to talk. See that? Look at that. They love you to the moon and back. This is what somebody's been hiding and suppressing. Didn't I say that? I felt like somebody was just not speaking their truth, not saying what they felt. And they was just suppressing and trying to push it down. And spirit was like, stop pushing it down. Speak your truth. Express yourself. That's why this card is blue with healing, because it's like you, you got to find your voice. And so through the meditation state. And through listening to one's higher self and searching within, that's what they realize. Like, dang, I got love. I got to love me first. You know, that's an inside job, like I said. You know, loving yourself and being happy, those are inside jobs first and foremost. And so that's what this person started to do. But this 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 uh, uh, Knight of Pentacles, they're ready to come in and, and, and make this offer to invest because the Knight takes their time. You know, they want to take their time to get it right. You know, they're not rushing in like a knight of wands, cups, swords. You know, they coming in because they they plan to stay for a long time. They there to to invest, to cultivate a relationship, to plant seeds and roots. He's even pouring out seeds. It looks like he's planting seeds, you know, so that they could flourish. And this page of swords is watching. 
So this is like I said, they're watching you. They're 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 becoming more inspired, motivated, you know, and they see your worth and value with especially with where them dollars at, you know, and I also feel like this is people like pocket watching as well. You know, you got a lot of stalkers, you got a lot of fans, you know, and remember, we had hater alert, stalker alert. And it says that there. And then I was calling this the Knight of Pentacles, but this is the page. And this is somebody wearing a mask. And remember, frenemies, they don't really rock with you like that. Anybody rocking a mask is not on your timeline or your wavelength. And that's why you got to be mindful who you allow in, who you talking to, dealing with. But whoever this other person is that's been working on themselves, healing themselves, that's been kind of like up in their head and ruminating and pining, this is how they feel. They love you to the moon and back. And this is also that same energy of the two, you know, the two people hand in hand. See this? Even here, where was that other card where the two people were kind of hand in hand? Oh, okay, I can't find it. But see that? Two people hand in hand. That's literally the same energy. That's that yin-yang energy. That's that twin flame type of dynamic. And this is what they're up in their head about. They also see you as wish fulfillment because all these stars... You know, the stars on my card are made of hearts. So this is really how they feel, like your wish to fulfillment. I want to get to know you better, digging on you. So somebody really is digging on you. This is someone that is a secret admirer that could be watching you, that could be, you know, kind of like trying to strategize and plan, a pl plan their way to come towards you. But they do have um, some big plans. I see marriage. I see proposals. So why is a uh, personal growth past life? Four of wands and the ten of wands here for our beloveds. Because that ten of wands reduces to the ace of wands. So this is like the, the, this is the ending of, you know, this is like releasing all the baggage energetically, you know, energetic baggage, actual baggage, just letting it go. Somebody has become wiser, you know. So let's see. Why is the personal growth? past life full of wands ten of wands here all right i'm taking those oh man so many good cards flew out good lord all right so a spirit is telling me to put these back in and do it again because so many cards came out and i can't just single out these two so i'm gonna put them back give my cards bang bang boogie So why is personal growth, past life, four of wands, ten of wands here? Thank you, spirit. And it says trust must be earned, not given. Okay. So this is someone that broke your trust and they have to come in and they're going to have to earn it. And this is what they know. They know they have to earn your trust because they were being fugazi in the beginning. Remember, caught their eyes. I was picking up on somebody that was not telling the whole truth. You caught somebody in a lie. Bottom of the deck, it says dream catcher, nightmares, witching hours, protection needed. So you got to be mindful because you got some folks that are really, really jealous, fugazi, envious, you know, but I feel like you're protected. I feel like you're divinely protected. You're also very psychic. So you're not divulging a lot of information. I do want to um, get another card, just one more card for personal growth, past life. But this is a, a, a sacred connection here. There's a lot of connection here. And the King of Cups is on the bottom of the deck. So someone is really going through, um, you know, healing their inner child. So the bottom of the deck, we got Baba Ogun. Per beautiful. I love this. And remember, I was picking up on a beautiful, divine, masculine energy here. Like a very powerful spirit. Masculine energy. Could be a father, grandfather. And a Baba Ogun is bringing you a victory. So there's something beautiful that's happening. We got date nights, long walks, live bands, and great laughs. So this is what you do with somebody that you are being courted by. You know, you go on date nights, you get to know one another, you have those conversations. We also have empath problems. It's too peopley outside. So this is that person that's in hermit mode, that's in the observer mode, just kind of like observing, looking at things from a different perspective. And that could be why they're taking their time to come in. And it says, accept the apology you never received and take your power back. So that now, and that's what you, I feel you had to do that. Um, you had to t accept the apology that this person never received, which is why they're realizing that, 
you know, they have to earn your trust because you had to just heal from whatever it was that they did to you um, without an apology, without them even acknowledging or taking accountability or responsibility for what they've done to you. And I feel like what happened was karma uh, bit them in the ass because whatever they left you for, um, you know, that player, you know, whoever was feeling like the bachelor, you know, they, they went out and they got played, you know, and so now they're learning. You know, and maybe that's why they resorted to starting to look you up online to see what you were up to, uh, because maybe they started to realize that they made uh, some mistakes in this connection. And uh, with breakthroughs, victories and success, I feel like there's going to be a breakthrough um, in the communication with this person. And I feel with, you know, um, pay attention. God is trying to tell you something. This is, you know, the divine sending those divine downloads. Um, transmissions. This is communication. Uh, this could be what this person is also picking up on. Uh, and they also realizing that, you know, someone that they're dealing with um, is cold blooded because look what we have here. Wow. This is very telling. It says, pay attention. God's trying to tell you something. So someone's finally listening to their intuition. They're finally paying attention to their intuition. And the name of this song is R. Kelly. I'm not going to hold on to your love. And so this this is what they're realizing is that they they need to let go of this 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 loveless connection, this karmic connection, because they're realizing somebody's cold blooded. Somebody could be doing something to their food, doing some sort of ritual work, you know, and I was singing that uh, uh, that song. Um, Wicked women put imperial blood in stew in the former reading. And that's what's coming to me right now. Whenever I hear of somebody, you know, messing with somebody's food. I just watched a short film on uh, YouTube called Ritual. You can look it up and it stars Regina King um, and Isaiah. I believe his name is Isaiah. Oh, man, I can't remember the guy from Love Jones. And then. Um, and another known actress. I can't remember her name either. But it's like a little 25, 30 minute film. But it's very telling, you know. And, and so if you want, go check that out. It's called Ritual. And it's a short film. And Regina King is in it, you know. So, um, and it just showed up in my feed. So I feel like that is, you know, I, I don't ever feel anything is, is by happenstance or coincidental. I feel like it's for a reason, you know, so that showed up. And so with this, don't eat everyone's food. This is what somebody may have realized is that somebody was really uh, doing some sort of uh, juju on them. And so they started to block someone out. They stopped engaging, stopped dealing with them, and they really just disconnected. And what we see here is if you have to force the connection, there isn't one. It's a two way street. So that's really what someone is realizing is that the connection they were in the relationship it was just it was all an illusion and what they had with you was absolutely more um there was more feeling there was more love there was more laughter there was more happiness um and there was more chemistry ultimately at the end of the day and what he's saying is i'm not going to hold on to your loving So this is your reading, beloved Scorpios. I hope this, this this message resonated for you. If you found that it did, please be kind and hit the like, the share, the subscribe button. Definitely hit that bell notification so you know whenever I upload. If you are new, I hope you stay a while. And if you are returning, you already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. I also want to um, give a beautiful um, thank you. A shout out to my beloved soul sister, Dorothy Maxwell. Thank you so much for your beautiful love donation. I appreciate you dearly. Um, I rotate that love right back to you infinitely, uh, to everyone that comments, likes, shares the videos, to everyone that tunes and taps in. You are appreciated. I love you all dearly until next time. And a big fat ashe. Peace.